According to the Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory's daily Kilauea update, before 9.30 them, Friday, inflation remains high and at nearly the same level as that seen before the last eruption that began on September 10 and ended in less than a week. However, the Wakahuna Peak slope gauge north of the caldera recorded a flat trend over the past 24 hours, while the sand dunes slope gauge south of the caldera showed the same trend. GBS units at the southern tip of the caldera and further south show continued uplift in this region. Seismicity has also decreased over the last 24 hours. Only about 21 earthquakes were recorded in Kalawea's peak region during that time period. Most earthquakes originating from the seismic swarm south of the caldera occur at depths of about 0.6 to 3 miles below the surface. Sulfur dioxide emission levels remain low and were last measured at around 100 tons per day on October 6. An eruption is not imminent but an eruption could occur in the area from Halamamau Crater south to the vent in December 1974, with little notice. No unusual activity was recorded along the east or southwest Kilo Erift zones. Meanwhile, United States Geological Survey said it had detected increased seismic activity on the Big Island of Hawaii linked to unrest at the Kilauea volcanoes. This mountain is one of the most active volcanoes on Earth and has been producing a continuous cycle of lava since September 29, 2021. Volcanologists emphasize that despite hundreds of small earthquakes, the volcanoes is not actively erupting. However, changes in terrain resemble periods of increased activity. Inflation trends continued at a slightly slower rate in areas south of the summit caldera. Inflation at Kalawea's peak remains near its highest level in more than five years and is nearly back to pre-eruption levels on September 10. Seismicity below Kalawea's peak region, which began on October 4, increased with approximately 320 earthquakes occurring in the past 24 hours. Due to the potential dangers associated with seismic activity, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has closed several parking areas and trails near the summit. The park is currently open, but visitors should be prepared and stay informed. Outside the National Park, there have been no other reported impacts from the increased volcanic activity. Sulfur dioxide gas emissions have been greatly reduced. However, local concentrations of sulfur dioxide or hydrogen sulfide may remain in downwind areas, and residents will occasionally smell volcanic gas, the United States Geological Survey said.